what is going on guys and in this brand new video i am going to talk about the grand theft auto the trilogy the definitive edition yup so as you guys can see i am right now on the app called tap tap and you can also search it The Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, you just need to type in Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy and there you are gonna have it. And this is the very first game uh, right here guys. As you guys can see, you just need to, you just need to click on it. And um, as you can see, I am already pre-registered on this game. I did it already last time, the registration on, uh, on this game, but maybe I regret it, but maybe, maybe I shouldn't register on this game, because this game, I'm gonna tell you the truth guys, this game is not gonna be for free on tap tap. And here it is also only just one screenshot about, screenshot about it. Uh, so here we have all the three GT games. Uh, GT Y City, then GT3, and the last one, GT San Andreas. But I am gonna show you why Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy is not gonna be free on the Android. Here it is why. If you scroll down, then here you can see by the notes. If you click on more, then here it says this is a paid game. Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the definitive edition, uh, will come to iOS and Android in the first half of 2022. Pricing and release date info has, hasn't been shared. So what this means that it just means that uh, this is gonna be a, a paid game and whatever you do, you just can't download it for free. So don't think about it. Don't think about it even guys that, that it is gonna be for free. No. You are wrong. The Grand Theft Auto, the trilogy, is not gonna be for free. You need to pay for it. And I don't know how much it is gonna be on Android, the Grand Theft Auto, uh, the trilogy. But if I believe... Yeah, there it is gonna be all the three games all together. Uh, because here you can read everything about GT about the GT Trilogy um, so here it is more about the Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy and uh, here it is about so basically uh, about Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy the Definitive Edition So basically here are all the um, recommended infos about the Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy. Um, so I am, I am gonna read it for you guys re real quick. Um, after several rumors, Rockstar Games has confirmed that Grand Theft Auto 3 uh, Y City and San Andreas are each getting HD remasters. They will be released in a package called Grand Theft Auto The Trilogy The Definitive Edition. The collection is coming to PC via the Rockstar Games launcher, PlayStation, Xbox, and more surprisingly. Uh, the Nintendo Switch will host them too. It will come to iOS and Android in the first 
half of 2022 pricing and release date info hasn't been shared. The company hasn't explicitly mentioned what kind of technical improvements were made, nor has it shared any footage yet, but it, but it says that each of the games has gotten across the board upgrades including graphical improvements and modern gameplay enchantments. Uh, the company uh, chose to take the faithful route for its remasters, leave, leaving the classic look and feel of the originals how they were presented on PS2. In case you're, you're someone who grew up with Grand Theft Auto 5, understandable given, given it is 8 years old and haven't had an easy way to play these earlier influential games, this seems like a great time to jump in. It might feel weird to play a Grand Theft Auto game that doesn't let you swap between the protagonists, but the adventures of Claude, the silent uh, protagonist in GTA 3, Tomiversity in Vice City, and CG in San Andreas are still very much worth playing. Rockstar says that we'll find out more about the collection of games in the coming weeks, but ahead of the launch, it will begin removing existing versions of each title uh, from the digital storefronts next week, so pick those up if you want them before you no longer have a chance. All right, and uh, that's all about the, the Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, the Trilogy the Definitive Edition. So uh, you can read by yourself uh, the, these infos on tap tap. And sorry about and sorry about notifications. Uh, that pops up. Uh, please ignore the notifications, guys. So, kinda, yeah. Um, yeah, so basically. So yeah, um, basically the company like hasn't even mentioned what kind of technical improvements were made, um, but for as far as I know, that the Grand Theft Auto the trilogy, uh, these games are gonna have the GTA Five controls, uh. Well, I don't know if that's true or not, but um, uh, text me in the comments down below, guys, if Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy are gonna have the GT5 controls. Uh, it would be not so bad, in my opinion, if uh, the Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy would have G the GTA 5 controls because it would be actually uh, pretty interesting and also um, really cool. Um, here is also a video that you can uh, watch here on the tap tap. Coming soon. Yeah, and 
Oh, I almost forgot uh, to tell you guys that uh, the Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, is gonna be released on November 11. So, November 11 is gonna be really soon here, actually, because today is uh, November 8, and that's gonna be on November 11. So... Um, I think that's really cool that the Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy is gonna be released. Uh, but if you didn't know uh, about on what four platforms Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy is gonna be released, well, uh, let me tell you on which platforms Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy is gonna be released.
Oh, and before actually, uh, before I am gonna end with this video, I forgot to show you that Rockstar Games they just um. Uh, shared a picture about the Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy and here it is on Twitter I'm gonna show you the picture about that game so if we just scroll down here it is and this was posted about three days ago uh, and here it says there's less than one week until Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, the Definitive Edition arrives on November 11. Preloading is now available through the Microsoft Store and Nintendo eShop. PlayStation Store preload begins November 6 at midnight. And here is some link, I don't know what this what this is for uh, what this link is oh rockstargames.com okay interesting uh here you can uh okay so here you can uh, definitely um find out more infos about grand theft auto grand theft auto the trilogy um Okay, so here it says preload now available for Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, the Definitive Edition. Plus, get a special $10 off bonus at the Rockstar Store when you pre-purchase. November 5, November 5, 2021. There's less than one week until Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, the Definitive Edition arrives on November 11 for PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, S, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC via the Rockstar Games Launcher. Starting today, preloading is now available for those who've pre-ordered digitally through the Microsoft Store or Nintendo eShop. Preloading on the PlayStation Store will begin on November 6th at 12 am local time in each region grand theft auto the trilogy the, the definitive edition will release across all available platforms at 10 am on november 11 with a physic with a physical release for xbox series x s and xbox one Nintendo Switch and PlayStation 4 coming on December 7. PC players can download Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, the, the Definitive Edition at launch and pre-purchasing from the Rockstar Store, either via the web at store.rockstargames.com or through the Rockstar Games launcher will get you a, a special $10 off bonus on any product priced at $15 or more exchanges exchange rates apply discount expires on January 16 2022 see here for complete details terms to see more uh, from Grand Theft Auto the trilogy the definitive edition visit the official site to weave screenshots read up on all the enchantments and check out the trailer related stories um, and this is all i think uh but wait a second uh i'm gonna visit the official site i'm gonna i am gonna also show you the trailer guys about uh, the grand theft auto the trilogy the definitive edition if you didn't uh if you didn't see it yet I am gonna show it to you now real quick. Uh, Grand Theft Auto, the Trilogy, the, the Definitive Edition coming November 11, 
2021 pre-ordered now ps5 ps4 xbox series xs xbox one nintendo switch and pc the definitive edition um so here are some of the screenshots about those games as you guys can see i uh did solve already the screenshots and also the trailer So here it is, how it is gonna look like, uh, GT3 Remastered, uh, GT Y City Remastered, and GT San Andreas Remastered. But now, let me show you real quick the trailer about this game, and then I'm not gonna waste your time here, I'm gonna uh, read for you also the other, inf other infos here, in case... Uh, you're wondering. So yeah, uh, let me show you this video all already. Okay. I got a little job for you, pal. They mess with me! They mess with the biggest boy in town! I'm glad to see things back the way they used to be. Well, that ought to put the coyote in the chicken coop, huh? Oh, yeah! And if he's ratting us out, Kill him. It's easy. Haven't you ever seen a movie? You say it like it's a bad thing. Shut up, Carl! All right, and that's it, guys. So, this was the trailer about Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto trilogy uh, and now let me read for you those infos three iconic cities three epic stories play the gender defining classics of the original grand theft auto trilogy grand theft auto 3 grand theft auto y city and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Up updated for a new generation, now with across the board enchantments, including brilliant new lighting and, and, and environmental upgrades with high resolution textures, increases drop distances, Grand Theft Auto 5 style controls, and targeting, and much more. Bringing these beloved worlds to life with all new levels of detail. And here you can see the enchantment skies about uh, Grand, Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Y City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So here we have some infos. That uh, updated player experience making it easier than ever to play these classic games including a GTA 5 style controller layout, improved gunplay and targeting controls with upgraded uh, drive-by controls in GT San Andreas. Updated weapon and radio station selection wheels updated minimaps with enhanced navigation allowing players to set waypoints to destinations, the ability to immediately restart a failed mission. Plus, new Rockstar Games social club accomplishments for members. And then enhanced visuals with improved graphics and 
fidelity across all three games, including um, you can read basically uh, everything about Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto Trilogy if you visit this site, rockstargames.com. Uh, yeah, I know that I said now that I'm gonna read for you everything, but I just don't wanna read for you everything because it would take uh, too long till I would read everything for you. Um, so here are the screenshots about these games, about Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. So I think this is really cool improved and uh, I think the Grand Theft Auto trilogy is much better as the original one was. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. Bye bye guys. Till next time.